Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to talk to you about uh, Mr. Steve Alexander and his flying in a helicopter. Helicopter. Um, Steve is complaining that um, we, i.e. myself and uh, a couple of other researchers, have managed to find out where Steve is going to go flying over circles that have been created, that he's paid cash for, paid the circle makers to make them, and he is getting advanced a notice of where they're going to be put and the farmers are not being paid um, so these are illegal formations so Steve is, is commissioning illegal formations and then he expects to be the first person to fly these uh, because he's the only person who knows where they are so he's flying them and in many cases there have been um, days which have gone by before anyone else has known where these formations actually are and that is until Steve has um, released the, the details. Now, um, we have known that Steve is going flying on some occasions, and we've not known where, but we've known he's gone out. And um, when he goes out, we know that there's going to be a formation, and then it's taken a couple of days for these to actually transpire that these are there. Um, but it turns out that when we've spoken to the farmers that the farmers have confirmed that these formations have been there for days so Steve has known ahead of time that these formations were going to be there so that kind of proves that he has got a direct link to the um, circle makers and you know there's n you know nothing unusual with, with tip-offs you know where circle making teams will tip off that they're going to make a formation you know it's going to be in a general area the next night or they tip you off in the morning and it's usually via anonymous means they um, e email you or um, contact you via the mobile or something you know and let you know that there's something in a particular location usually under a false name however what Steve is getting is he has actually brought a circle maker um, back from retirement and um, two years ago Steve was known to have paid this circle maker money in order to give him advance notice of where the formations were going to be and then this circle maker left the area and um, stopped making circles you didn't see any of his work um, over the last two, two years until this year um, and then basically this circle maker's style of art has reappeared um, with loads of mistakes looking really shabby um, in, in most cases anyway and um, but basically Steve has been there days in advance of anyone else knowing about the formation being there and days in advance of Steve actually releasing the pictures so Steve has wanted to take these pictures and then wait for the formation to get look, looking messy so that he's got the best pictures now if you can believe somebody would be as petty as to do that right that's that in itself is amazing that somebody would want to take photos of a formation and make sure nobody else has photos of it you know for a few days to let it get old and crap yeah but the thing is he's been caught out every single time because it's been known that Steve was flying and it's been known in the general direction in which Steve has been flying and um, then um, searches have been made by people to see if we can spot those locations out in in those places and um, first couple of times we couldn't find them then we got a little bit more sophisticated on how we were sort of locating uh, where these formations were and we've actually found them uh, pretty much exactly the same time that Steve has gone flying so our methods have become more sophisticated and we've been able to find them quicker but it proves that Steve is getting this advanced information he's working with the circle makers um, if going by old information is correct he's paying these circle makers to make these formations now the farmer isn't being paid so these are illegal formations and the farmer is unaware of what's going on um, basically this is a criminal act and Steve is commissioning criminal acts now my question is do the people who pay the donations towards Steve know that they're paying to commission criminal acts it's different when Steve is just a photographer and he's going to photograph you know stuff that's been done by artists and done by you know done from their own um, their own 
work and he's not involved but when he's when he's actually involved in the commissioning of it then he's involved in the criminal act he's involved in the crime so people who know this now know that Steve is commissioning these illegal formations if they continue to donate to Steve's flying activities which come to about fifty thousand pounds each year of costs for him to fly to photograph these circles if they pay money towards him up to fifty thousand pounds all those people who are donating towards him this year are, don are donating to criminal acts so if you know that and you are aware now from this point onwards that you are donating to criminal acts then you are you are an accessory you are an accessory to the criminal act because you are commissioning the criminal act so you are as doing you are doing the same criminal behavior as Steve so I'm just letting you know that that's what Steve is up to and it seems very funny that um, Monique and uh, Charlie Chinhead um, aren't publicizing the fact that Steve is doing this even though it's quite obvious to anyone involved in crop circles that if Steve, if Steve is going out before anyone else sometimes days in advance then he is directly connected to the circle makers it's, it's, it's as plain as the nose on your face so now you know this if you are still donating to Steve after this point you are an accessory to this criminal act so thanks very much for watching oh and by the way by the way a po little postscript yeah uh, Steve is now saying that because we are finding out where he's going that this is an industrial espionage he's referring it to uh, referring to it as industrial espionage because he is treating these formations that he's paid for as property he's treating them as something that he owns and has paid money for so he has a right to go and see well of course he doesn't have a right to go and uh, pay to, to, to get criminal damage done on people's land he doesn't have a right to pay somebody to criminally damage somebody else's land and then treat those formations like they're his personal property but he's saying that because we're finding out where they are at the same time that he's going to photograph them because of that that's industrial espionage because he can't work out how we're doing that he doesn't know whether or not we're getting information to tip off from the circle makers so you know he has no idea how we're doing this but he is treating it as industrial espionage because you know but we're not doing anything illegal we're not doing anything illegal by tracking his activities yeah but by tracking his activities we have proved that he is involved in breaking the law by tracking his activities but he's trying to treat it now like it's his personal property and his rights are being infringed because he's not getting to these formations in time and it's not fair because he wanted to have time and days he wanted to have time to to, to not release these photos well doesn't that just admit doesn't that admit that he knows these formations are going to be there before anybody else because he's actually paying for them and treating them as his personal right and his personal property I think people should be asking big questions right now of Mr. Steve Alexander and questioning whether or not they should be donating any money to this man thank you very much for watching